Hey girls, welcome to another tutorial. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys just a few different techniques that I like to use to curl my cashmere hair extensions. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to grab is of course your extensions and then also your um, cashmere brush to brush them out. I always do this every single time, um, just right before I'm gonna curl the extensions, just because when you go in, you know, to separate pieces and such, um, they're not getting all tangled, or you're not having to like stop and separate and all that kind of stuff. So always keep in mind, you just wanna be working with nice and smooth extensions. So the first way that you could do this would just be grabbing a track and just separating out like this. Um, and then doing it off of your head completely, you know, rolling it up like you would. This technique is kind of nice. Let's say if your hair is wet, maybe you just got a shower, you're wanting to get your extensions ready for the next day. This is something that I would do. You could also do this, you know, laying flat, maybe on a towel or something like that. Okay, so the second way might be my most used way. Now it looks super funny when you're doing it, but I find that it's very useful if you're really trying to get your curls to go a certain direction. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this way I literally, if you can see, I have the extensions placed like over top of my hair. Um, obviously you would never go out with this looking like this, but what I like about this technique is that when you go to curl, um, it's already in the same kind of format, the same uh, placing that you would have it if it was just a few inches lower. So that way when I'm going to curl here, if I'm wanting this curl to be away from my face, after I take this extension off, um, it'll still be in the right place. And so then I could go, you know, on this side and go away from my face there. And then that way, when I take it out, it's all going the same direction. This one's kind of useful. Let's say if you already have your hair curled, you're not wanting to like go in and mess it up. Um, I like this technique as well. And you can also um, do that one really quickly. It kind of saves you some time from having to, you know, use layers, putting your hair up like this. Um, so I just really like that technique, especially when I'm trying to get my curls to go a certain way. That's very helpful. And then the next way would of course just to be um, putting your extensions exactly where you want them first and then kind of curling your hair all together. This is another loved way that I do it. So I'll just place these in real quick to show you. Okay, so I've got those all clipped in and I just kind of brush through to get it all um, cohesive together and so this is a really great way um, if you're doing a curl that is going to be pulling on your hair a lot I wouldn't recommend this way I would recommend either doing a handheld or putting it kind of on the top of your scalp that way it's not tugging on your hair too much but typically when I'm curling my hair they're pretty gentle curls and I'm not like really pulling hard so keep that in mind if you're going to be using the curling iron uh, some curls, you know, you're really kind of tugging and pulling. I wouldn't do this when it's already clipped into your hair because you don't want to cause any damage or anything like that. So I would do the other two techniques. But as you can see, when I'm curling my hair right now, um, I'm kind of letting go of this lever before I start to pull. And so there's really not any tugging going on on my natural hair um, through the clips from the extensions. All right, so I hope that you guys found that helpful. Just three quick and easy ways to curl your cashmere hair extensions. And I will see you guys in the next video.